everyone and welcome to Makeup Mamas! My name is Priscilla and I upload makeup related content on my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing a purple eyeshadow look. I have been wanting to create like a purple eyeshadow look for a while and I thought it was a great opportunity to pull out the Morphe and James Charles eyeshadow palette that I got for my birthday. It does have some nice purpley shades here some transitional shades, some, you know, extra shades. So I thought this will be a great palette to create a purple eyeshadow look. I mean, actually it's a good palette to create different colorful looks, but today we're going with purple. So if you guys are ready to play with some eyeshadows, then let's get to the video. So these are the four shadows in the palette. They kind of feel a little dry like on the dry end so hopefully they blend out nicely but these are the purple ones i think i'm gonna use this one this one and this one since they're kind of more like close together and the shimmer shade it has like a purple undertone which it doesn't look like that in the palette but when you swatch it it does so i thought that's kind of neat i'm gonna take this color here and put that in my crease I usually always start light and then build up, but we're just gonna go for it. So far it's blending out nicely. I'm taking a defining eye brush. And I'm going in with this shade here. So I put Stingo in my crease. Now I'm taking Escape. Escape. No, it's Escape. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well. The brush. Something feels like drying. I think it's the brush. This is one of like elves. Ooh, like right when they came out, those brushes you guys know. So they're a dollar. It's really rough. I'm gonna go in with the clean blending brush. And then like just blend those together. Seems like it's blending nicely, so. I'm gonna put some more right here. I'm not sure if I didn't place it right or if I took it off, so we're gonna find out right now. I'm gonna pack it on. Alright. Now that I packed it on, let's blend it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this angled brush here. And I like to like stamp the colors. First I'm going to go in with the lighter of the two purples here. And put that in my lower lash line first. Uh, I do have some fallout if you guys were wondering. Okay, now I'm going to take the deeper shade and put that on my lower lash line too. I'm just going to start halfway. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bring it in only like two thirds of the way. And then the, the inside just the softer shade. I'm going to take a smudger brush. Yep, this is an old school elf one too. Still got it. The ones that shed. <laughs> And I'm just going to smudge or blend those together. Ooh. I think I need to get rid of these two. I think it's time to say goodbye to them because they're quite rough. I'm going to take the eye crease brush. Also one of the elf ones. But this one is actually much softer than those, I think. We're going to find out. Oh yeah, it is. I'm taking some concealer. Now I'm just going to go in and kind of clean up my lid a bit. Not like trying to do like a cut crease or nothing. Just, I just like 
putting it on there because it also um, it kind of creates more of like that neutral base again and it's like wet so it becomes like a tacky base for your eyeshadow now I don't say a cut crease because I do not do my lines um, like perfectly but I don't aim to do it perfectly so Now I'm just going in with a L small precision preci precision brush. On I'm just gonna take another shader brush. I'm going with that shimmery purple shade. I feel like it might look better with if I use my finger, so let's use some on my finger. It's like a pinky purpley blue, if that makes any sense. Probably not, but it kind of like shifts. I feel like it shifts colors. Gonna go in with the first shade. Oh, I got something in my eye. Yeah. Taking this shade here and putting that in the crease again, just a little bit. I'm going to take this matte shade here, I think canvas, and I'm going to put that on my brow bone to kind of clean it up. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take Sister. A little bit of flashback, which is the actual white shade. And also put that here. I think that helped. Okay, then taking sister. I'm gonna take sister again, that shimmer shade, and bring that in my inner corner. And that up into the lid. I very much like it. So I'm going to take some eyeliner and some lashes and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I fairly quite enjoy how the look came out. So I did finish up the look with some lashes for my waterline. I did go in with this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner and I have this in the shade vivid i think that it also helps tie the look together personally i like how it kind of works with the look but yeah this is the final look i actually really like how it came out i think it i don't know i get like really impressed with myself do you ever have those moments where you're like oh all right, I can do it then. <laughs> yeah, but I really like how it came out. Of course, I'm not like a makeup artist or anything like that. So I'm not a professional at all. As you can tell, my eyeliner does not match. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I couldn't figure out like the lip on what kind of lip to pair with it. I was trying to look for like a neutral cool tone possibly lip. But I couldn't find it. But I think this it's fine. Kind of for me, it's hard to pair an eyeshadow with the lip product. I don't, I'm not really that coordinated, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I did, again, use the Morphe and James Charles eyeshadow palette to create this look. And I do actually plan on doing a eyeshadow roulette video with this eyeshadow palette since there are quite a lot of eyeshadows. And it's just a way to kind of get out of my comfort zone and try to think outside the box. So I am planning on doing one of those videos in a future video. 
I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.